This year, we have people on the team learning Creo so that we can use it to aid in the robot design. We used it to brainstorm designs for the base of the robot, as well as ideas for picking up blocks. Since the beginning of the season, we've tossed around ideas of what we wanted to build for the device that will pick up the blocks. After going through many ideas, we've decided that we wanted to use a conveyor system that picks up the blocks through one end and deposits through the other. This allows us to pick up blocks efficiently and not have to turn all the way around to face the bins and put them in. Our system is simple and capable of scoring blocks consistently. We also designed a flag raiser that, with some fine tuning, was able to raise the flag during a match. For the first competition of the year, we wanted to consistently score blocks, score IR blocks, and raise the flag for the end game. After disappointing results from the first competition, we changed our game strategy. Now, we want to have a working lift mechanism as well as a full-fledged autonomous program. Our autonomous will score IR blocks and then park fully onto the bridge, since autonomous and endgame are where most of the points lie. We have a way to sense the IR, and we return it as a timer value, which is much easier to read and understand. We go forward until the beacon is sensed, then we switch to a void that will complete the turn to the pendulum and drop the block in. From there, we are aspiring to use encoder values to determine which bin we are at, so we can complete the distance from where we are to the bridge. This year, we have spent time fundraising so we can support ourselves. We have volunteered twice at Tropicana Field to sell newspapers, raising about $200 total for the team. So far, we have received grants from Raytheon, TBTA, and Rockwell Collins. In addition, we received money for a new team shirt for building cornhole boards from Clay's dad's company, Left Coast Consulting. We've been reaching out to more people and organizations in the last few months. Last year, we took a trip to our old middle school and mentored the tech club there on Lego Mindstorm programming and robot construction. This year, we've lent a helping hand to our freshman sister team, Next, during competition. We also built cornhole boards for the Williams Syndrome Changing Lives Foundation over the summer for their future cornhole tournament.